I'm not gonna lie, this is making me really emotional right now. And that is f***ing depressing. How the fuck does kidnapping orcas, dolphins, turtles, everything else that's been kidnapped inside, been abused inside, help save the oceans of tomorrow? Before we get into today's video, I just want to give a big shout out to our sponsors, Dashlane. Now you guys know I am a big techie and you guys know I rely on my computers, my laptop and all my tech and all my gear to be safe and to upload stuff to YouTube. Internet privacy is anyone's number one concern, especially if they make a living using their computers. Dashlane is an app to manage all your these, so you needn't keep let me in and let me in 24 straight. Lori, what are passwords? Yes. There are people out there that are always trying to get into your personal data and trying to get your personal information. Don't let your private information get into the wrong hands. If you're like me and many others, you probably forget and end up using the same password for the sake of convenience. But when you do that, it's like using the same code books over and over. And that is a code breaker's dream. If one password is cracked, all your accounts could be in jeopardy. And that means your bank accounts too. Then before you know it, all your personal information has been stolen and there's nothing you can do about it. But you could have avoided it from having happening. Being someone who uses the internet for everything in my life, it feels good to have that extra level of security that Dashlane provides. Dashlane can be your one-stop shop for digital identity by managing your passwords so you don't have to keep track of each one. Personal info and financials making your digital life safe and more secure. Dashlane works across all devices including Apple's, PC's, Chrome, Android, and Safari. Dashlane also has a secure autofill feature that works for personal information and credit cards, saving you time when shopping online. To get 10% off of the premium version of Dashlane, make sure to go to www.dashlane.com slash mosarji and use the promo code MO to get 10% off. Get it right now, the link is down below. Well, I'm really hoping you guys stay safe out there and make sure to get yourself Dashlane VPN. The link for it is down below. What's up guys, I'm Mosarji. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different to what you guys are used to I got my homie Omar gosh TV with me right here his YouTube channel link is down below he's gonna be filming a video here with me um, today's video is gonna be on a more of a serious topic it's something that bothers both Omar and I and me especially because I I am a scuba diver I'm a licensed scuba diver I love the ocean I love animals I love all creatures of all kinds you guys see that from all my videos I never want to bring harm to any animals that we see out there and today we're actually at SeaWorld and from what I've been hearing about SeaWorld is that they do not treat their animals very, very well. All right, just to keep this intro short, we're gonna be sneaking our cameras in. I don't know if they're looking for people with big cameras, so we're keeping it to minimal. We're gonna go inside and secretly film all the places that they don't let you see. So, smash that like button, and uh, yeah, man, let's just jump right into this. I absolutely don't understand what they're trying to educate here. Are they trying to educate kids? You know, to I mean, that's that was the cover up in the beginning. You know, education to, was education, educating people on on the whales and things like that. You know, I don't like making negative videos at all. Like, this is probably the first video that I've ever done like this. But what opened up my eyes to this situation is when I went to Marineland last year with my wife. And Marineland has been a big deal. It's a big part of Canada history. I'm from, I'm from Canada. And I went there with my wife, and I, I'm looking at the orca there. There was one orca one. by itself, swimming, looking so depressed, Aww. so sad. It literally almost shed a tear. Like, I literally almost shed a tear when I saw that. And now coming here, I already feel very emotional going into this place. Me too. And I don't like that at all. I love whales. I love creatures. I love animals. I love being in the ocean, seeing them happy. I swam right next to this giant stingray in Jamaica all by myself. Like... To me, that was a, a humbling experience. They're beautiful to see. And the fact that these animals are being locked up in this prison, this is literally a prison for these animals, we're about to go and shed some light on this place. I mean, I don't want anyone's business to fail, but if it's a business where you're holding majestic creatures Listen, there's captive, nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with having- A roller coaster, coaster. yeah, that's fine. And, and having some animals here and there, but you know, supposedly they took penguins and FedEx them from California- That's messed up. To Michigan, which- that like, who does that? That's you messed up. Like, that, that all right, so up. we're literally going into this video on a really emotional note. I already feel like I want to shed a tear. <sighs> we're going to suck it up. We have to pay to get in. So, unfortunately, we do have to support this place. But let's go inside and uh, see what we can capture on camera. As you guys can see, we've made it inside the park. I have to have my camera on the way in. 
There is no way they're holding little sharks over here. A white spotted bamboo shark. Bro, look at that. There's all these like sharks in this little tiny pool. This pool is full of sharks. Like little tiny sharks. Called the white spotted bamboo shark. Yeah, that's you are welcome to interact or touch the bamboo sharks gently. Jesus. Even adults. This dude does not look happy. He does not look, he doesn't look healthy. Either. He doesn't look happy or healthy. He's just been sitting here for like 10 minutes like this. See how that guy's fin is straight up? That's how it's supposed to be. Right. Like a shark fan almost. But not like not like that. Yeah, not like that at all. That's not good. That one's bent over too. Is that where they like hang out at nighttime? Like in that little tank over there? Yeah, that's where they put them. It appears they're spraying water on the orcas to cool them down from the sun. Orcas need to be underwater for 95% of their day, or their time, their, their life. But these no. guys don't have a deep enough pool, so they're stuck up oh, on dude, the surface. Just went caca. Yeah, yeah, they did. I don't know. Bro, this guy does not look healthy. He's been sitting there like this for 20 minutes now. I don't get, I don't get it. Well, let's go see if we can see better angles of how unhealthy these guys look underwater. Yeah. So before we go down into the entrapment, is what I'm calling it, um, when we got to this orca pool, it's very tiny. It's the smallest thing I've seen in my life. It's even smaller than marine lands. There's about four or five orcas in there. One of them did not look like he wanted to move. It looked like he was dying. And that made me feel really sad, but we're gonna come down below to the aquarium and see what it looks like from down below. So we made it down to the bottom of the tank and it only looks like it's about 40 feet deep. Doesn't look that big at all, or deep at all. There's one right there. Oh, it's swimming like upside down. Well, that's, that's how they usually swim. No, yeah, it is swimming upside down though. So look at the fin on this one. That one's got a good fin. Yeah, that's not nearly deep enough for them, bro. Like, that's nothing. You guys can see the relation between the whale and the pool of how deep and big it is. And this whale is literally half the size of this pool. It's massive. It's a beautiful creature though. Doesn't deserve to be in here. Not gonna lie, this is making me really emotional right now. <laughs> so if you look, when the whale is swimming upwards, see, look now, it's half the size of the pool. Like it doesn't even have room to dive. To dive down deep, it's already down in the bottom. And that's not fair. See that whale, it's like sleeping upwards. It's pretty much the size of the pool. Yeah, he's almost the same exact size from the top to bottom. Yeah. Uh, we all depend on a healthy ocean. So do the whales. But they're not gonna get that, are they? So far out of all the fucked up shit we've seen in this place so far, this has to be the worst part about it. There's about 15 dolphins in this one little tiny swimming pool. Look at all these dolphins in one pool. Bro, dolphins are supposed to be in the ocean having fun. Like, what is going on here? This is really pissing me off. This pool is literally like the same size of someone's pool in the backyard. Not gonna lie. It was the same size pool in my hotel. These guys are my absolute favorite. I mean, if I had a favorite marine mammal to pick, I mean, it, it would be the it'd be the dolphin. I mean, these guys are so beautiful. I love seeing them in the wild. I want to show you guys how these dolphins are acting very strange. They're all jumping right by the concrete slab over there. Every one of them. You know what I don't get um, is that you know these animals. I know they're in salt water right now, which is healthy for them. They need salt water to survive. But there's no coral reefs. There's no like ocean bacteria that they need to survive. They're not able to hunt too. That's what that makes them happy. Yeah, like I've dol seen dolphins happy in the wild, and they love hunting. Yeah, dolphins are hunters. Like they hunt. They're like they're crazy hunters. I have a purpose. Omar's got a purpose. You guys have a purpose. Every creature, every living thing on this planet has a job, has a reason to exist. And this is not a reason right here. We've been here for about an hour, and I came back to the aquarium over here and this guy is still literally sitting there. And that is fucking depressing. When it is your turn, this is what it looks like. We don't climb on top of the dolphins, right? He's just gonna tow us across the pool. Oh, this is 
We don't climb on top of the dolphins, that lady just said. He's just gonna tow us across the pool. The last time I checked, dolphins were not tow truck drivers. Oh my god. Look at all these stingrays. There are so many of these rays in this little tiny pool. Can you answer your questions? Yeah. And if you're joining us here, if you would like to see our animals from a different point of view. Bro, did you see how many stingrays were in that pool? A lot. There was a shit ton of stingrays in that pool. I got to experience firsthand a real stingray in the middle of the ocean in Jamaica, and I dove down and swam with it. This is what a stingray should be looking like. We just came across these birds over here and it's really interesting and really cool because they can fly and they can dive underwater. As you guys can see, that bird is swimming right by that big fish right there. There's a big fish right there and the bird is swimming down below. And there's some dead fish at the bottom of the, at the pool. They're all doing these weird movements and I'm pretty sure these movements are to attract other fish. So, so cool. It's a shame that they're locked up like this. They should be in the wild. Or to a stadium over there, or make it bigger and stuff for them, and then they wouldn't approve it and stuff. So we stand, scrap that, and we said we can't, we can't transfer or breed. So if they ever die out, unless somebody, new people on the commission come in and change their mind, but. Yeah. Peter's always, you know, oh, yeah. asking us. Yeah. Now, I heard they're after the dolphins now, trying to get us to do something with the dolphins. Oh, and, really? I mean, what do we save? 30 some thousand animals. And they haven't saved one, but they're constantly on our case, you know. I don't think we'll ever get rid of all the animals. On them. Right, right. So, Omar and I, we read on Google that um, they were going to be banning orcas. Actually, that they did ban orcas in California, uh, all the sea worlds. For some reason, this sea world still has its orcas. And from what you guys saw with those orcas that we've seen, they didn't look healthy at all. Like, no. I think only one of them kind of looked healthy. So apparently, they cover and hide their sunburns with black zinc oxide. Now, that does not seem fair or right to me. Does it to you? Wow. That's actual ice. Look at that, this is real ice. Oh my god. Check out how tiny this walrus exhibition is. Literally, this guy is in a prison right now. That's not even cool. Just the sounds of people laughing is making my stomach turn. Nah, he looks mad as hell. So check this out, I just came across these, I think they're called beluga whales, and they're in this little tiny pool over here, look at that. They're beautiful creatures, very intelligent, very friendly, and are gorgeous wow unbelievable and they're literally just swimming in this tiny ass pool that's so bad just wow that is magnificent so they just swim around in circles because it's so tight and tiny in here like they really can't do anything else they just gotta swim in circles past the time round and round we go where we stop nobody knows they literally have nowhere else to go, huh? Just this little hole over here. So we made it to the sea turtle exhibition and 
When I get out of here, I'm gonna tell you guys why this is a big issue with me. Oh my goodness. Look at how gorgeous and ginormous these turtles are. They're like dinosaurs. Oh, you look so sad. Well, I would be too if I was in a little closet. Aww. Looks well, he's, he's stuck. You think he has an itch or something? No, I think he's stuck. Look, he's oh. trying to maneuver. He's trying to maneuver. He's literally stuck. He's literally oh, stuck. Wow. Is he? I think he is stuck. Bro, that that's a, this is a small area for him. Yeah, he's a big... That's a, You know, they're bigger than they actually look, right? Like, the glass makes him look a bit smaller. They're much bigger. He's, he's stuck. He's stuck. Look at the other one, it's literally not even moving. Why is this one just chilling there? Like he's not he hasn't moved since we got here. He's just been sitting there. Yeah, it could be could be just getting a bit he has an itch? Yeah, it could be just an itch. Oh, let me know here in the comments what you think. Is it stuck or maybe he has an itch? Yo, you want overcrowded at SeaWorld? Now this is overcrowded at SeaWorld. Holy crap, there's like hundreds of these things. All in one little area. They're beautiful creatures, wow. Unreal, I've never seen these things in real life. Notice how their knees are on backwards? <laughs> they are on backwards. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at these things. What do you call these things, cats? They're flamingos. I know. <laughs> look, 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 look. These guys are fighting, right? Yeah, I've been filming them. Yo, this is crazy. It's like a penguin show. Or something. Those are real penguins. Yeah. I can't believe that. There's ice and snow in here. And we're in the middle of the summer heat. Oh, look at this. There, there's like a thousand penguins in here. Those are real penguins. Holy sh. There's like a thousand of them. Dude, this is not even cool. Do you see uh, how tight this is? It is real tight. Bro, there's like, it's a little pool with like thousands of penguins. There's like hundreds up top and hundreds down below. So the reason why it's real dark in here is because in the summertime here, it's winter time in Antarctica. Yeah, it's dark and, in the winter over there. Yeah, it's darker yeah. over there right now because they're getting literally no exposure to the sun. So, wow. I didn't know that. I wonder if they can see us behind those glass. I don't know. Probably. This is this is creepy. This is the creepiest thing I've seen ever. They're like underwater birds. They are. They're underwater birds and above water. That's crazy. Goodbye, Sea World. May you rest in peace. I'm really trying to figure out how visiting SeaWorld makes a difference. I really don't get it. It just, it boggles my mind. I just don't get it. I noticed a very interesting sign over here at the entrance of SeaWorld. Your visit today ensures the oceans of tomorrow. How the f does kidnapping orcas, dolphins, turtles, everything else that's been kidnapped inside, been abused inside, help save the oceans of tomorrow? Let me know this in the comments below because I really cannot figure out an answer to this. So according to SeaWorld, visiting SeaWorld helps animal rescue from what, the wild? So I'm guessing SeaWorld rescues them from the wild? I, I don't get that. I don't believe that and I never will. Oh, oh shit, I'm telling you, you keep circling. There he goes again. I don't think he knows that we're here. You think he's just looking for us? I see one of the security guards pointing at us on our way out. Well. I think we're about done with SeaWorld for today, and I think I'm done with SeaWorld forever. I don't think I'll ever come back here. Um, a little while ago, about a year ago, I went to Marineland uh, with my wife for honeymoon. I, I didn't expect to see what I saw over there. All the animals looked depressed, and the orcas looked like they were literally dying. I think it was one orca in a pool all by itself, and orcas get depressed. They're very emotional, just like humans. Also, dolphins are very emotional, just like humans. Can you imagine being trapped in a small area? Yeah, by yourself. Yeah. The orca I saw in Marineland was completely alone. I even filmed it. I have a video about it. I'll leave the link to that video down below. It was kind of like, it was kind of depressing. Um, They're slaves here. Yeah. They're working for food. Yeah, you, you get literally taken away from your family 
and you're put to work so people can come and pay and watch and have fun and be like, oh, look at that. It looks happy, but it's really not. One thing that really, really pissed me off when I was there, when we were looking at that orca that was on its side the entire time, and even as we were leaving, we were there for hours and hours. As we were leaving, we checked up on the orca. She, it, or he or she was still on its side. That's not healthy. An orca needs to be swimming around, having fun. I think that one is dying, and I would really like to know more information about that one, so if you all can tell us more about it, I would gladly appreciate it. It's not supposed to be like that. And you guys see in its dorsal fin, it's completely curved, and it shouldn't be curved like that. It's just, it's not healthy at all. Um, so I don't know what these guys are talking about when they say, oh, we, we're here to save the animals, we're saving the oceans, we're saving the whales. What are you saving them from? from what they need to be saved from is from me you people taking these things they don't have any predators in the wild no they're they're None. completely safe in the ocean they're they at the top of the food chain yeah the only thing that is really harming them is humans human fishing nets human fishing and people's kidnapping them and using them in parks like this that being said i hope you guys um take something from this video make sure to take our videos and share them everywhere like tag every foundation let's let's get more people aware of this these situations let's get this parking lot empty next by, by next year yeah like i would i don't care about the park staying open for roller coasters for roller coasters that. yeah but not kids having fun not using these animals like very intelligent animals and using them as as slaves and do you want to know how intelligent dolphins are dolphins can communicate underwater through using sonar not vocals like us using sonar that's how intel we can't even do that like, they're literally more intelligent than us. I've seen videos of dolphins literally picking trash out of the ocean and trying to put it up on boats. Like, wow. and humans. They're very smart. Yeah, they're very, very smart. So, this video might have been a bit, like, you know, shocking to some of y'all, emotional to some of y'all. And I, I hope the message got clear to some of you guys. Some of you guys might be like, oh, I don't care. It's not happening to me, so why should I care? Well, I mean, if all these animals die away, then I think there'll be a big unbalanced disturbance in, in this planet. Um, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Share these videos everywhere. Omar made a video as well. We did break off a little bit on our own. He filmed a little bit of something different. I filmed a little bit of something different. But in the end, we both have an end goal. And that's to stop this from happening. And to spread more awareness about this. We love you guys. Omar's link is down below. Go show him some love and subscribe. I love you. Come see me on Instagram and on Twitter at Mosarji. Don't forget to be you, do you, stay positive, and just live a little.